My other friends, uh, this video serves as a report for our recent work in the islands of Trinidad and Grenada in the Caribbean. While we experience brokenness and darkness in the world, we've experienced this on a different level in these islands. You know, when God instituted the church, God instituted the church to be on his mission. When Christ came into this world, he came on a mission. And today, the church joins the mission of God, heralding the gospel, uh, proclaiming the redemption, reconciliation and restoration that is available in Christ Jesus to the world. It is with this intention we travel to the Caribbean. Often we think that wars are fought on the streets, but in this island, especially in Grenada, you know, these wars are at homes. There's so much of brokenness in the institution of family and marriage. Single parenting, a lot of children do not know who their father is. A lot of young people are so addicted to alcohol and drugs. And so many young girls are being forced into sex and you know the trade of prostitution at quite a young age. And this really breaks our heart. And no one can really find light in life apart from the gospel narrative. And, you know, we came alongside the church, church leaders, to equip them on how they could effectively reach uh, their neighbors, you know, proclaiming the truth of the gospel, helping them be redeemed from the bondages of sin. With the invitation of my friend uh, Justin Zoflik, who's been serving the island of Grenada past 13 years, we served both the islands of Grenada and Trinidad. We began our Caribbean mission in Grenada. We served uh, young children in schools. We had many purposeful meetings with the leaders. On uh, Sunday, uh, we had ministry in St. George's Evangelical Church. Any place or every place that we stand, we take it as an opportunity to help them understand that they were called by God to be his light in the world. And St. George's Evangelical Church is one of the most influential churches in the country of Grenada. And God helped this servant minister to them, actually inspired them uh, to go out, influence the world in the name of Jesus. But much of the ministry happened in the island of Trinidad. We were hosted by Pastor Mitchell John, who pastors the Valencia Evangelical Church in Trinidad. Uh, we had eight itinerant assignments in Trinidad. Now, Trinidad has similar kind of challenges, especially uh, with family and, you know, with the issues that youngsters go through. And we were passionate to reach these young people. And the church, which actually would need to reach out to these people uh, in this nation, needs to be empowered on how they could effectively join the mission of God. So we had a, a, a seminar, Missions and Leadership Seminar, where we taught the principles of evangelism. We gave them the theology of missions. And we also had many uh, practical sessions where we discussed the means through which we could effectively serve the nation of Trinidad, helping them find uh, the light in Christ Jesus, uh, being redeemed by the truth of the gospel. 34 pastors and leaders attended this seminar from 16 churches. Another great opportunity that God blessed us with was Faith Center in San Fernando. Faith Center is one of the major churches and influential churches in the island of Trinidad. And uh, it happens to be the missions month. And with my time that God has gifted me there, I help the church and its leaders understand the necessity of taking the gospel into people's life. There's still a lot of unreached people in Trinidad. And each one of us owe the responsibility. No one owes the responsibility of their neighbors more than the church. And that morning, Thursday morning, you know, God enabled this servant to bring that truth to faith center, inspiring them, challenging them to move out of their comfort zone and share the gospel, you know, with their neighbors in the island of Trinidad. Along with that, we were also able to serve in many different evangelical churches from Arima to Valencia, Sande Grande and Separia, 
we serve these churches and at each of these places we brought the gospel to their context we paid attention to the needs of the context and we catered uh, uh, you know contextualizing the gospel and at each of these places there were many questions be it from youngsters or the leaders and god enabled us to uh, effectively answer them uh, on a whole it has been such a fruitful trip and god actually opened many doors to the neighboring islands and some parts of south america as well you know the missions teaching that god helped us give uh, these churches and these leaders was so helpful some of them expressed that they're hearing some of these concepts for the very first time and they said they can't wait to hear again wait to get trained again so we've inspired them to take the responsibility serve the nation in different capacity both inside the church and outside the church as the church of our lord and savior jesus christ so we give god the glory and pray that the mission of Maranatha serving the global church, uh, awakening them, uh, challenging them, inspiring them and equipping them to join the mission of God succeeds. So in all in all, we give God the glory. And for each of you who have prayed for us, thank you and God bless you. Maranatha.